friends welcome to my channel I am Arpita Karva and in this video I am going to talk about certain blunders that students make in the last one month of their preparation time for UGC net examination. So guys we know that less than a month is left for UGC net exam May 2021 and this is the most crucial time for any aspirant. Moreover, what is important here to understand is that this is a time where anxiety and panic takes over. So your heartbeats would rise and you would feel as if this is a race against time. Amidst all of this, it is very important to be aware of certain blunders that usually students make during this period, which stops them from clearing this exam. In the last video, I spoke about this counseling cell that we have in our organization under which we provide free counseling to any student out there who is facing any kind of life issues. And we were surprised to receive so many calls in last 15 days that all our counselors were totally occupied answering the queries and questions of these students and solving their uh, doubts and making uh, them a plan which would work work for them. But amidst all of this, when I was sitting with my counsellors and discussing about the kinds of call we are getting these days, we were surprised to know that almost all students were facing the similar issues. So when we sat down, we actually uh, got a list of issues that students are facing and when we narrowed it down, we figured out that almost all these students are making certain blunders. So I thought that why not make a video about these blunders and tell all of you that you need to be beware of these blunders. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some really important facts. Make sure you listen to the video till the end. On top of that, always understand that students ask us that what is the right strategy to prepare. But at the same time, you need to be aware of what is going wrong in your entire strategy. Because no matter how good you are preparing, if you're making these blunders, that's of no use. It's just like the simple analogy of a tank. So imagine a water tank. You're pouring filled, purified water every day into that tank but there is a hole uh, towards the end of the tank and whatever you are pouring that is going out of that hole now what's the use no matter how much effort you put to fill the tank the tank will never get filled because of that hole so this video is about rectifying those holes in your preparation which is stopping you from clearing ugc net examination the very first tip that i would like to give each one of you out there is that please stop multitasking in this last one month i have seen a lot of students making this mistake they are studying they are revising in this last one month while they are scrolling through instagram while they are replying to their friends on whatsapp please ensure that your phone is kept aside during your study time ensure that you don't Keep any of these devices that will distract you in your study room. That is very important. Guys, you have to understand that your mobile is not going to go back. It will come back. After a month, your friends, your Instagram followers are there. You can catch up from that particular time. But right now, it's not the right time. You can catch up from that particular time. But right now, it's not the right time. You can catch up from that particular time. अपनी पढ़ाई पे फोकस करिए इन सभी चीजों को साइड में रखिए एंड सिर्फ ये नहीं इवन इफ योर मॉम इज टेलिंग यू टू ब्रिंग सम वेजीज फ्रॉम द मार्केट और ब्रिंग सम चीज फ्रॉम द मार्केट एंड दैट यू टेल हर दैट दिस लास्ट वन मंथ इज वेरी क्रूशियल इन सब चीजों से दूर रहिए आपको डिस्ट्रैक्शन को कट डाउन करना होगा यू कैनॉट अवॉइड डिस्ट्रैक्शन यू हैव टू कंप्लीटली रिमूव दैम फ्रॉम योर लाइफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सक्सीड अंडरस्टैंड यू हैव टू सेक्रीफाइस दीज थिंग्स राइट नाउ फॉर अ बेटर फ्यूचर आपके फ्रेंड्स जिनसे आप दो दो घंटे अभी कॉल पे बात कर रहे हैं एग्जाम के बारे में डिस्कशन कर रहे हैं गॉसिप्स कर रहे हैं ये फ्रेंड्स चले जाएंगे अपनी अपनी लाइफ में सेट होके वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू रिमेन विथ इज योर करियर I have seen this in my life. Meri net preparation mein I have completely cut down myself from all my friends. Ab wo log kahan kahan hain I don't even know. But what I have with me right now is my career and that is what is special to me. Aapke friends agar acche hain wo rahenge aapke sath. Ek mahine sabko bol dijiye that you are not available for anybody out there. 
सो मेक श्योर यू कीप योर सेल्फ अवे फ्रॉम ऑल द डिस्ट्रैक्शन अपना स्टडी स्केड्यूल बनाइए उस स्केड्यूल में अगर आठ घंटे आपको पढ़ाई करनी है तो आठ घंटे सारे डिस्ट्रैक्शन से दूर होके पढ़िए उसके बाद अगर एक घंटा आपने एंटरटेनमेंट के लिए टाइम बनाया है रखा है उस एक घंटे के टाइम में पढ़ाई के बारे में बिल्कुल मत सोचिए फ़ोन पे बात कर रहे हैं अपने फ्रेंड के साथ उस एक घंटे में तो सिर्फ फ़ोन पे बात करिए फ्रेंड के साथ डोंट थिंक अबाउट स्टडीज डोंट वरी अबाउट स्टडीज सिमिलरली जब पढ़ रहे हैं तो प्लीज़ अपने फ्रेंड के बारे में मत सोचिए उस टाइम सिर्फ पढ़िए स्टॉप मल्टी जिस टाइम पे जो काम कर रहे हैं सिर्फ वही काम करिए थिंक अबाउट दिस इफ आई एम मेकिंग दिस यूट्यूब वीडियो वाइल थिंकिंग अबाउट समथिंग एल्स इन माई माइंड मे बी माई वाइल थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट ड्रेस दैट आई हैव पुट इन द मिंत्रा कार्ट एंड आई विश टू ऑर्डर एंड आई एम लुकिंग फॉर दैट सेल अगर मैं ये सोचते हुए वीडियो बनाऊंगी डू यू थिंक आई वुड बी एबल टू डू जस्टिस विद द वीडियो नो राइट सो वेन आई एम शॉपिंग ऑन मिंत्रा लेट मी ओनली थिंक अबाउट दैट शॉपिंग एक्सपीरियंस वेन आई एम मेकिंग अ यूट्यूब वीडियो लेट मी ओनली थिंक अबाउट द वीडियो लेट मी ओनली थिंक अबाउट द पॉइंट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डिलीवर सो दैट इज वॉट इज सेट टू बी द राइट वे टू मैनेज योर टाइम सो मेक श्योर दैट यू डोंट मल्टी टास्क इन द लास्ट वन मंथ द नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू मस्ट रिमेंबर ड्यूरिंग दिस लास्ट वन मंथ इज एनवायरमेंट आइसोलेशन ना वॉट इज एनवायरमेंट आइसोलेशन एनवायरमेंट आइसोलेशन मीन्स जब आप पढ़ रहे हैं सो इन्श्योर दैट यू हैव अ रूम फॉर योर ओन एंड यू आर स्टडिंग इन दैट रूम एंड यू आर आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉम रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वेन यू आर इन दैट रूम Imagine this you have a very small room with a table and a chair and you are only going into that room to study. You are not studying on your bed, which is actually made for rest and not for studies. So every furniture in your house, every room in your house has a different purpose. Drawing room is made for guests. When guests come, we attend them in the drawing room. We don't bring them to our bedroom. Similarly, your bedroom and specifically your bed is for sleeping, for resting. It is not a perfect place for studying. So, if you are studying on your bed, you are kind of giving signals to your mind that this is the time for sleep. So, whenever you study on the bed, you feel like sleeping again and again because bed is originally designed to give you comfort, to give you sleep. But if you are studying on a table in a chair you would find that you would be more concentrated while you are studying that is the reason why i always tell my students that if you have a very small room in your house maybe a store room or anything of that sort please clear that mess out and then put a table and chair there put good lighting a fan there and start studying there and that room should be specifically used for studies if you are family members are creating any issues maybe there's a fight going on between your mom and dad please tell them that go out and fight please don't let them disturb you ghar ke jhagde ghar ke problems chalte rahenge but if you have a career of your own you will be able to ease down those problems i'm telling you being financially independent can be the best possible thing that can ever happen to a human being so ensure that you put yourself into the right direction rather than thinking about the fights that are going in your family rather than thinking about uh, you know the fights that are there between you and your boss please keep all of that aside and only focus on studies because this is what is going to change your future so environment isolation kariye us room ke bahar lakshman rekha kheech lijiye kisi ko us room mein mat aane dijiye jab aap pad rahe hain ensure that only you are studying sabke beech mein dining table pe baith ke nahi padha ja sakta hai no matter what excuses you give but that is not possible agar aapke ghar mein aisi koi jagah nahi hai join a study library nearby go there for four hours five hours study there and then come back home and then relax that should be the way you should channelize your preparation next in line is a very important principle that is known as eat the ugliest frog first now what is eat the ugliest frog first we all know that in this limited period of time there's a very very huge chunk of syllabus that we all must be finishing what is the approach that you take when you have to finish this huge syllabus most of the students would try to look at it from the angle that let us do the easy stuff first let us do the small chapters first let us complete the smaller units first this is absolutely wrong 
Brain Tracy, who is one of my very favorite author, in one of his books talks about the concept of eat the ugliest frog first, where ugliest frog stands for the most crucial task of the day. So every day you make a timetable for yourself that, okay, these are the topics that I uh, should be completing by the end of the day today. Now, what generally people would do is that they are going to look at the timetable and then pick out the most easiest stuff and try to finish it first thing in the morning. And then they are going to tackle the harder stuff. At times they are not able to finish the harder stuff because the smaller portions are done and then they are exhausted so they are going to rest. So the most important or the most prioritizing units are left. In this particular regard, I am going to talk about a theory which is known as the Pareto Principle. Pareto Principle says about a 80-20 rule. Now, what is this 80-20 rule? 80-20 rule says that in your life, there are two types of tasks. Some tasks are those that will help you to be 80% successful. Some tasks are those that will only give you 20% contribution. Think about this in this manner that maybe in a uh, syllabus you have 10 units out of these 10 units three units are more uh, important or I would say that they are the most crucial units from which most of the questions would be asked for example in literature we have British literature literary theory and criticism these are three units from which maximum number of questions are asked somewhere around 60 to 70 percent of the paper is formed from these three units now if a student is going and completing all the other seven units and not focusing on these he would not be able to clear the exam so what approach should he be following he should be adhering to pareto principle that hame un task pe zyada mehnat karni hai un task ko sabse pehle tackle karna hai jo 80 percent success mein contribution de rahe hain so with that note, I come to an end. Uh, I would be coming up next week with another very, very interesting video. So please subscribe to the channel if you've not yet subscribed. I'm going to actually talk about how you can stick to the study timetable because a lot of students are facing this issue. They're not able to stick to the timetable. They make a timetable, but then that timetable goes into the dustbin they are not able to adhere to it so i'm going to talk about a very simple trick that you can use in order to follow the timetable also if you like this video don't forget to like and share the video with your friends apart from that there's a very important announcement that i wish to make there's a counseling cell in our organization which is working day in and day out to provide free counseling to any student who is either going to exam anxiety or is not feeling very confident in the last few days of the exam or is facing any emotional uh, challenge any relationship trauma because of which he is not able to concentrate so if you're facing any emotional setback in your life if you're having any emotional issue that you would like to overcome please feel free to whatsapp us on the number displayed on the screen our counselors are going to get in touch with you and will take you through extremely confidential sessions where they are help you to overcome these challenges and move closer to success so with that note i would like to take your leave that's it for this video lecture we'll meet you soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.